NPR is just a collective group of all the grades at Memorial, and they come together once a week. Uh, we just talk about stuff, have little fun activities, food, but um, most of the time it's just trying to get to know each other so we can transition into high school. I think makes a great backyard is where everyone is really interactive with one another, everyone knows each other's names, there's really good communication between the teachers and the backyard representatives. Backyard is a place where you're allowed the freedom to meet people totally different than yourself. For most people, they want to go to a room where they have friends and they have a teacher who is willing to let them take a break from school and just kind of hang out for half an hour. Uh, I think a good backyard is put together by everyone participating and everyone wanting to try new things and work towards the backyard being better. So you meet people you haven't grown up with that come from different neighborhoods, or different ages. Um, it's, a, it's a free time where you are allowed to just have good, meaningful conversations. I think what makes a great backyard is just everyone coming together from all grades and working together. It is made by each individual contributing, and even if it's a small bit, and even if it's not all the time. Um, so, backyard is community, I guess. I mean, it's a collection of people from all different grades, and it's just where we get together to have fun. It's a place for any student at our school to learn and grow with other students in different classes. And each backyard is special in its own way because they have their own leaders and they have their own students. In my experience, what makes a, a great backyard is having good associations with it. Um, in my backyard, I always look forward to the interesting cast characters that I encounter. And what makes a good backyard is an effective leader and an effective body. Because without an effective body of students, the leader can't potentially make a backyard fun. It gives kids opportunities to become leaders. I would just say, be positive and um, put yourself out there. It's scary to put yourself out there, but um, I make a fool of myself every Wednesday at 1.30 in the afternoon, and it's, it's good fun. Everyone has a good time. No one is left out. It's just a really good community for everyone to be together. To make the backyards better, I feel like everyone needs to participate. Everyone needs to have an open mind about bringing in food or trying new games or even the teachers wanting to learn and like try new things and help out the students. What I think makes a great leader is someone who is compromising and someone who takes charge and gets things done in time. Like whatever they set to do, they do it, they reach their goal. You need to be honest and sincere when you talk to people. Learn everyone's names um, and get to know one or two little facts about each person then they'll actually they'll listen to you. The original grant was brought about so that kids would be able to build some relationships, students would be able to build relationships with staff to students, and then student to student. So why are you guys signing up for this strange thing called student government? Why do you want to be a backyard rep? Because it's really awesome. Really? It's awesome. It's super cool. Okay. We have a lot of fun. I want to be a backyard representative because you meet more people, you get involved in school, and, well, not only that, but you also know what's going on in school, and because it looks good on your college transcript. Uh, I want to be a leader, help people out, and try to get people involved in the backyard process and stuff. And the idea behind this, too, is that students would also have a voice, so they could voice anything that they wanted to do, anything they want to talk about, it runs the gambit, and then their backyard representatives could take that back to student government and then that's where the voice would be shared.